All right, we got Craig here from Ubifire. If you guys don't remember him, he was in on one of the other previous videos, right? With your, I was. With your Trinity, do it yourself Trinity. Right. Which now everyone's making their own version of. Yeah, yeah. which uh, I'm gonna hopefully do another video about that. But today you're coming up with hopefully something that works and doesn't kill anybody. Right. Which is an orbit cam okay. goes around your head. 360 degrees in suspense from the which ceiling. Is, from what I hear, that's like all the rage now. It's uh, apparently it's all the rage. <laughs> How are you gonna do this? Can you so, pull it up? So basically, I've done this before. Okay. For a contest months ago, the Edel Crone Home Alone. But basically, it's it's a motor that hangs from the ceiling with a stick attached to it that comes down, attach your camera, and it makes the camera rotate around a room. We'll say. Now you know everybody's gonna say. You're probably just copying that Josh guy from so, Speak Art now. So here's the whole story. <laughs> months and months ago when I did this, Tom saw it. He said, we should make a video about that. And we couldn't get our schedules together. And then Josh Yo from Make Art Now just said he's making a product that's this. And we thought, well, now we have to make the video. <laughs> so here we are, making the video. But a little bit late, but yeah. Just like eight or nine, ten months. I don't know. It was like the beginning. It was, of, yeah. It was, it was the beginning of COVID when, yeah. when I did that. So. All right, so let's hopefully, fingers crossed, it works and... And nobody died. Exactly. <laughs> this is the new main mechanism because we're going to try and make it silent. I used Syrup Genie the first time we did this. It works really well, but it is so loud. It is the loudest thing you'll ever hear. This is the Pan Pro from Edelchrome. It's basically the same thing, and I use it with my Jib 1 that's down there and it should make this silent. But both of them were had enough power like to actually rotate the whole thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, I was shocked. I was a little worried about this when I first did it the first time. And I'm like, yeah, it's so it tiny. survived. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick. Just clamp this bad boy out here with the... Looks like you can go fishing with That's it. That's right. <laughs> So basically what you're saying is just buy a fishing rod and... Right. Uh, I, you know what? It might work. A fishing rod would work. <laughs> the only thing is I have to hook at the end. We hook another ball head to make the 45 degree angle. Uh -huh. And then I put another selfie stick on it. Do you put a counterweight on the other side? Yep. Now I have to tell you, we have to test this real quick. Because A, I haven't used the syrup in forever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, yeah, this one's loud. <laughs> So loud. And then when you start putting some weight on it, it gets super loud. Huh. Pretty cool though. Yes, it is. Pretty easy. What is that from? Is that something? This? Yeah, is it like This I is my selfie stick from my Insta360. Oh, okay. both of these are. This is my 10 foot one, and this is the one that comes with the Insta360. But. Oh, okay. Obviously. And then you, and then you just put like a ball joint there? Yeah. Ta-da! Ta but I think. So, in your opinion, you think this is ready for a big professional movie set? Uh, I think we need some speed rail. Okay. <laughs> I think it'll work. With Craig's camera, you trust. With it. Craig's camera, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you said the battery lasts for how long? Like uh, normally, how long is it supposed to last? I've only used it a handful of times, but we were out here for like eight hours running this thing in a circle. And I don't think we turned it off hardly ever because we had to keep doing take after take. We were doing a special effects thing. Okay, it's going yeah. around. All right, so can you get a sexy shot of me here? I can. the name of this rig? This is the Ubi rig, we'll call it. The, <laughs> the Ubi rig. Okay. And it has lots of selfie sticks and things. And ball heads. And ball heads. Yeah. <laughs> and clamps. Well, these are all like things that are pretty cheap, right? So how, how much do you think this whole thing would cost if somebody I, wanted to build? To be honest, you could do all, even what I have here, you could do cheaper. 
But a couple of ball, how much is a ball head? A cheap ball head like this? You could do this with items that you find from around your house. Yes, you, you don't need to buy anything. You, you, don't you can use a broomstick if you want. Exactly, you don't need a selfie stick. You yeah. can just use anything that, you can screw a camera in. Yep. And uh, I think the ball heads are like the most important part. So you can make the angles and tip the camera. The most expensive thing is the camera <laughs> and the weights. <laughs> So how much do you think for the rig? Obviously minus the camera. Uh, for this version, I think it's 200 bucks. So, and a light, 300 bucks. Yeah. 300, 300 bucks. bucks. 300 bucks would be the low end of that. 300 oh. bucks. If you, you want to get a little it. fancy and buy an expensive boom pole, which I think was 80 bucks. And, and of course, people have to pay you because you're selling. Right, and then I have to my... To get your plants, it's what? You're only selling it for $1,000. Right. right, my royalty fee on this is a whole number of things. Like, <laughs> this is, it's cheap to build. It's not cheap to run. <laughs> so this one, you're saying this motor, even if you go like full speed, it's quiet? It should be, yeah. Bringing the camera over. Hey, look, there's a camera. All right, let's set up a camera. So okay, so this one was slower though, I gotta say, than the other motor. A little slower, I was surprised. I thought but it was it's faster. completely silent though. Completely right? silent. Like I didn't hear it at all. No. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. yeah definitely quiet. It's very controlled too. Like when I when I do things on this remote, it responds. Like it's kind of nice. But what do you think? I think it's uh, pretty cool. I'd like to build it at a speed rail next time. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you do it, call me over. I want to okay. see. Okay. Yeah, so we can hold an Alexa there for a, a Venice or something. Oh, wow. That'd be pretty cool. So, I yeah. see, I mean, your rig, I gotta admit it. Okay, you you achieved a lot of the same things as uh, as that YouTube channel that was it, Make Art Now. Yes. Uh, as in, it's you can go, you know, very accurate, very slow. Uh, you can go, uh, what's it called, without making any noise. Yep. With the right motor. You did it cheaper. Uh, you know, it can work with all kinds of cameras. Now, how, how heavy you think is this payload? This is the Sony, was it the FX3? It's the FX3 with the 135 Sony lens. Sony lens, okay. Five pounds. Okay, so, and it handle it no problem, right? No problem. And I guess the only thing is maybe you can't go as fast, I don't know. Is it you even? can't, I don't know, we don't know how fast the other one goes. Uh-huh. We also, the one thing I didn't understand about the one, he built, there's no way to adjust anything. Uh, he's got a, an even amount of stick on both sides and uh -huh. then it folds open. So, I, I don't know, I feel like that could be a problem. Yeah, because yours you can adjust it, right? Yeah, just these this, selfie sticks. this part folds up and it looks like he's got some screw on like giant gimbal weights. That's kind of handy, but this got the job done with just regular weights. And uh, how long was the setup? I mean, was it was like 15 minutes to set up? Now it is. The first time it took forever for me to figure it out, but this took like this 15, 15 minutes, minutes, maybe. Yeah. Because yeah. before, because we did it two times and it was yeah. pretty fast. Yeah. You did it, man. It worked. Yeah. Not that I was doubting you, but. Right. <laughs> I, not, not for a second. But, but it's, I mean, it is, you know, I don't know if I trust my camera all the time with, <laughs> with a, a nice what camera with a nice lens like this. Let's get this out of the way. It's perfectly safe. It didn't fall down at all. <laughs> well, other than that one time. Chad jumped out of his skin! <laughs> so if you guys want more info, as always, check out the links in below in the description. Check out Craig's YouTube channel, UbiFire, and uh, you have a website too, right? Yeah, UbiFire.com. Yeah, and 
uh, I'll see you guys, I guess, in the next one. Bye. Deuces!